Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I haven't been here in a while. I've taken a little break um, from social media in general, but I have come back and wanted to give you guys a quick tutorial because I'm going to do a classic snow globe. Um, and I don't think I have a tutorial on one of those here. So I'm going to show you guys um, a more of a suspended type of snow globe gal. Some people call me the suspended queen because um, I do pretty much everything suspended these days, but I do still love a classic snow globe. So I'm going to give you guys a quick tutorial on um, how I do that. We're not going to have any breaks because I don't want to edit and all that stuff. So we're just going to jump right in. So I'm going to show you guys. This is the one I'm recreating um, for my mom. She I made this for her last year or this style last year and she dropped and cracked it. So she doesn't know I'm going to make her a new one, but I'm going to totally make her a new one because hers is looking a little janky. So we're going to recreate this style. As you can see, I haven't shaken this in a while, but once you get it shaken up, the pigment and all that starts moving through, but it's a really pretty free falling style. So we are going to start off with our solution as my hot fix tool is warming up. So for my classic solution, I used to do glycerin glue and water. Um, I found that that solution was very bubbly. So I am going to, I switched over to a glue and water, two parts water to one part Elmar's magic, magic liquid. Oh my gosh. That's how often I say suspended, but two parts water to one part, um, Elmer's clear glue. So I'm just going to add some water here. You guys will see what I do with this. So I'm going to do 20 because I have some already mixed up here, but I know it's not going to be enough. So I'm going to do about 20 mLs in this big cup uh, of glue, sorry. And then we will do it's a little more than 20, but no big deal. And I'm gonna, after I put the 20 in, I'm gonna fill it up to 60. So 40 mLs of the water. Now the key with this solution is to mix it well. You really have to mix this or you are not going to get um, what you would like. So, we're gonna top this all the way up to the 60. Now for this solution, I want it to be pigmented because I'm going for that white look. So for this particular solution, I do a white pigment powder and a white um, acrylic paint to get that look that I want. So I'm gonna grab those. Make sure this is white, not glow in the dark. So we're gonna mix this up really well it's going to start out like a cloudy and it's going to go to a clear and you can also see as you're mixing it you can see the glue you can tell the difference between the glue and the water now if you're doing the glycerin glue and water you can really see the glycerin in there it's almost like an oil mix with the water but it all of these liquidy solutions besides the magic liquid one um, they're going to be cloudy when you first start out and you just mix it till it's clear Now, the biggest thing with these cups is going to be degassing. You do have to degas these cups. I degas all of my cups. Uh, I know some people say that suspended, you don't need to degas them. You do. They will get air. I've learned that myself. I've made a lot of suspended snow globes, but they will develop air. So you do want to degas even your suspended. I have been surprised at how some cups come back with a ton of air. So now we are going to take our pigment powder. I'm using um, Hippie Crafter. It's a white mica. It's pure white. I also like them. Um, I have a mica from Resin Rockers. They have lots of great options. I do have an affiliate link with them. It's Jessica5 to save. Um, they have some great options as well for pigments. And then I'm just using some acrylic paint. You can pick it up from your local craft store. For like a couple of cents. I'm just gonna squirt a little bit of that white in there. Not too too much. 
And then, so what the mica powder is going to do is it's going to give it that shine, um, that glisten, and then the acrylic paint is going to give it more of that pigment. So it, it actually ends up being a really pretty snowy looking color. Now with the micas, it's going to be a little chunky sometimes, so you really wanna mix well kind of like a cake mix where you get pockets of powder. This looks pretty darn good. So I'm going to take my solution and pour it into here. This should give us enough for the cup. Now, if you're doing a big cup and you're just mixing up a batch, I would mix up probably a cup's worth and you can do um, one third of a cup of Elmer's glue to two thirds of a cup of distilled water. But a cup is usually what I mix up to give me what I need. <clears throat> that will at least um, give you one snow globe. And then I just like using those cups because you can just rinse and reuse. Okay, so we have that mixed up. Now I'm going to do my glitter. Um, all of these colors are from Cali B's Creations. You can use my discount code, all caps, BC Sparkle. Saves you 10% every time you shop with her. But um, I'm just doing a white mix, so we're going to use a little bit of Moonstone. This is more of a uh, translucent with a shine. We're going to do some Lily. This is your flat white base. And then I'm going to use Porcelain. Love this color, it's um, really pretty. Shiny white. And then um, Sugar Fairy, which gives a little bit of like a pinky tone, but it's really pretty, like an iridescent. I don't mix a lot of glitter for this cup. You don't need a lot of glitter. Um, we're gonna add a good bit of light bulbs um, to it to get the look that we want. So you don't need a lot of glitter. Just gonna mix that up. So we have some glitter, and then we are going to take our cup. I get these also from Cali B's Creations. Most of my supplies you're gonna see me use are from Cali B's. Um, I buy my dupes from her, and then I'm taking a hot fix tool. You can also get that from her, or I have an Amazon storefront, and I do have this linked there. Um, and I'm just going to take my hot fix tool burn through that first layer, grab my little weaving hook to get this inner piece out, and of course it's trying to sink in. Every once in a while, they give me a run for my money. You gotta go fish. And little trick, if it's not coming out of this hole, just keep heating it up because the more you heat it, the more it will bend and flex to come out. Once it hardens and cools, um, it's gonna be very hard to get out. So the key with that is to heat. Also to wipe your hot fix tool, I haven't done that in a while. If you wipe it clean between uses, usually it will grab that acrylic and pull it out. So I'm going to take my drill, the 3 8 inch drill bit. I'm just going to widen that hole. And that just helps my bumper when I'm ready to seal. It helps my bumper to fit nice and snug. So now we have our cup, we have our hole. We will start adding things. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some water. I don't ever measure. I just eyeball about that much water. What this does is it helps to get the glitter in to your solution without it having the glue to stick to. Um, and it allows the glitter to move through the solution, which helps in your degassing process. Let me get my light bulbs. Mm -hmm. 
these are from it's pretty personal i got these last year i'm not sure i'm sure she sells them this year um but they're just little christmas lights this one is pinkish in color on the solution you can really tell a difference once it's next to a white one because i threw some light bulbs that i got at michael's um that don't buy a craft store glitter you'll regret it but they had pink light bulbs and it turned my solution pink because the craft store glitter bleeds into your solution so i will be keeping that cup for myself since i messed that up i know better and i still did it so now i'm going to take all of my glitter i'm going to dump it here glitter keeper this just keeps the glitter from spilling over the edge this is also from Callie bees I'm using my massage tool. I have this linked in my Amazon storefront. This just helps to get everything into the cup a lot faster. And I have arthritis, so it's less abuse on my wrist and my hands. Especially with the suspended and the polycrylic, they just really take a lot of effort. I don't have great strength, especially with my hands and my wrists. So we have everything mixed in here. That's about how much glitter I want. I'm now going to take my light bulbs and I'm going to add, I'm just kind of eyeball it, about a two pinches. And these, you can use the massage tool, but sometimes you got to shove them with a pick or something because they don't like to go in all the time. I know I'm going to get it in the comment section, but I do not know where I got these files from. Honestly, they were very hard. I made this as a custom last year. Um, I made one of these for my mom and this these files were so hard to find. Um, I ended up finding them on the internet. Don't remember where, it wasn't Etsy or anything like that. Um, it was like some SVG website. as far as the vinyl goes. But everything is hand layered. It's cut on the Cricut. It's not a printed image. I do like using printed images, but when I have the time, I love to layer images because um, I just think they look so much better that way. It's more personalized. You can add in, I like being able to add in like a holographic, um, vinyl it just gives like an extra pop so i love layering when i can if i have the time so i'm now going to take this little brush i got this from resin rockers as well and just clean the bottom of the cup get all that excess glitter off and now we're going to start filling it up now this is where it gets tricky um and different from the suspended the suspended is easier in a sense that um you don't have to worry about the bubbles and things like that as much where with this classic, I'm gonna go ahead and get my bumper out. This classic solution you do, it's very bubbly um, and you just have to slowly fill it and working your glitter through. It's just gonna help if you fill it the right way, it's really gonna help when you start degassing the cup. And I will explain to you guys at the end of this video how I degas my cups like this because um, I get that question a lot as well. And if you guys aren't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'm going to be posting more videos here, more content, tutorials. I know you guys like those. I'm limited on my other platform um, with how long of a video I can post. So I prefer to do full in-depth tutorials over here. So if that's something you guys are interested in, hit that subscribe button. It, I would really appreciate it. So you see I added that solution in. I kind of gave my glitter a mix. I'm going back in, adding more. The trick with this is you don't want to add it too fast and you don't want to create bubbles. So even as you are kind of working your 
solution through your glitter. Don't be aggressive with the shaking. Just kind of roll it like I am here. That really helps to keep the bubbles at a minimum. Once you get it full, you'll see that we'll shake it a little bit more and work it, but it's a different technique uh, for sure than the suspended type. The suspended, you have to be aggressive and shake them like crazy. These, you don't want to do that. And you'll see as you're filling this, I use a fine chunky mix. Um, it's heavier on the chunky glitter, but there are some, there is some fine glitter mixed in here that also will create little micro bubbles, but you will see your fine glitter kind of floating to the top. That's okay. Um, eventually what I try to do is work a lot of that fine glitter out. I use a flooding technique with just some distilled water and that really helps to get a lot of that fine glitter out and reduce how many bubbles you have in the cup. I don't claim my cups to be completely air free. That's near impossible, especially on a classic solution. Um, eventually over time, all of your cups will develop a pocket of air. It's just what nature does with evaporation and things like that. Um, you can keep about at a minimum, but it's very unlikely to have a snow globe not develop water over time or bubbles. So you can see I have topped off my solution. What I also do, I'll pick you guys up, is I overfill my hole so that as I'm adding my bumper in, I'm pushing in liquid and not air. I learned this from another um, creator and it's always been my trick and I swear it works every time because I used to get these pockets of air about this size, um, like a nickel to a quarter size, no matter how great I topped off the cup. And I learned it was because air was getting in as I was adding my bumper. Once I started overfilling the hole with a solution, then I learned it's pushing in the liquid, not the air. And you see less of that happening. So you got to be careful though, as you're putting in, I recommend using a needle nose plier if you have them and teach yourself that way. This is janky and can be a little dangerous. I've stabbed myself a couple of times, but I'm gonna take my weaving hook and I'm gonna put one end of my bumper into the cup and I'm slowly just going to work around pushing it into the hole. Now it's a little tricky, especially when you have um, such a pigmented solution as this one is because it's very hard to see where you're pushing. You just kind of have to feel. And that's where it gets a little dangerous when you're using a weaving hook. That's where I usually poke my finger. And I have gone like all the way through my nail with one of these things and it hurts. Okay, so. I'm just going to take my favorite towel. I'm gonna clean up the excess fluid here. Now with this mixture, it's much different than the Magic Liquid. If you don't get all of this off the cup, it is going to dry and it's going to leave a film on your cup and it's gonna be very hard to clean and get off, especially the glycerin. The glycerin will leave a stain on your cup or like a weird material on the cup. So I'm just getting it nice and clean. You can use a little alcohol if you need to, rubbing alcohol to get any extra fluid off. I'm going to put my glitter away. And then what we are going to do now is you can see my bumper. This is how I degas my cups. Um, I'll show you guys this process, but I always leave the bumper in because you're going to toss and turn these cups a couple of times a day. And if you don't have this in place, if you're like me and you forget to put it in there, you flip the cup, the solution comes out. So it's totally fine. It still will degas if you leave your bumper in place. You don't have to take it out. I only take this out when I'm ready to top off the solution. But no matter what, it's still going to release the air and you'll get your air pockets here. You can also degas really well on a cup turner. So if you do epoxy cups and you have a cup spinner, I'm trying to show mine, it's in the background. Um, like that one behind me. You can degas really well um, 
with those they do they do work really well i have a short tutorial on my tiktok page where i show that but degassing essentially is flipping your cup letting the glitter completely fall to the bottom working out any air pockets that may be large um you can work those air bubbles to the top flipping your cup back over letting the glitter fall doing this a couple of times a day what that's doing is it's allowing the glitter to work its way through your solution getting rid of any air pockets that build up inside of the glitter otherwise you will have large air bubbles so we are just going to let this fall then what I will do is um, I'll flip it back over. I keep my cups top down like this one over here. You see the lid on the top. I keep my cups typically like that um, as I set them on the shelf. That way um, I know that they're degassing. When I seal them, I do set them right side up so that I can tell if they're leaking over time. So definitely do that. Um, like I said, I, I will flip this cup probably once or twice a day, allowing it to completely fall with the glitter. I will degas it as long as I have it and I'm working on vinyl, I'll continue to let this degas until it's ready to ship. So typically I will air it out for about one to two weeks. Um, if I have a faster turnaround time, I give it at least 72 hours. I find that that's a good window of time. Um, but that is why we tell people, especially on these, also on the Magic Liquid, I'm the number one offender. If you do leave your cups in the sun or in a hot car, your liquid will evaporate out of that cup. So that is why we tell people with this style of cup to not leave it in a hot car. Don't put it in a hot place. Try to keep it out of sunlight when you're storing. Keep it in a dark cabinet or something like that so that it will not evaporate. Um, cause as you can see, it's two thirds, um, distilled water to one third of Elmer's magic, or I keep saying magic, Elmer's clear goo, glue. So it will evaporate a lot of air or evaporate a lot of liquid. I can't talk. I am so tired. Today was my first wait, day back to work, um, after like five days off. I don't even know but most of this glitter has fallen there's still some fine pieces up at the top that's okay um, sometimes especially with some of these glitters it can be staticky more so than anything I'll give it my best effort to get it to work down but if it doesn't completely fall no big deal it eventually will but that is it so this is my classic snow globe um, let me know in the comments what you guys want to see next. Um, I have a phone case I'm going to be doing, so I'll probably post a tutorial on that. Um, this one I won't make a lid for because she already has a lid. We're just going to do the body of the tumbler. And, um, I have a gingerbread suspended cup I want to do. I'm just waiting on some cool new glitters to come from Calibis. So, um, once I get those, I'll probably do a tutorial for that, but make sure that you guys subscribe to my channel. I will post content as I can. I am a full-time nurse. This is my hobby and my side business, so I do it when time allows, but I will try to post here more. I know I've been a little MIA and you guys love these longer tutorials, so make sure that you're subscribed. Um, if you don't follow me already over on TikTok, go ahead and give me a follow there. And then I'm also on Instagram. I will link my site in the comments below so you guys can check it out. And then on my site, I also have a section for affiliate links where you guys can find my discount codes for Cali Bees. I have a discount code for Resin Rockers. Um, I have the link for Emmy's Boutique where I get a lot of my printed vinyl from. Um, and I have some other really cool affiliates, uh, Tech Wrap Vinyl, got a vinyl from GP Tumblers. So make sure that you guys check that section out. You get some awesome deals. And then make sure you check out my Amazon storefront as well. I do have um, some tools for people that love to shop Amazon. I know we all love our Prime. I do have a Amazon storefront where you guys can find um, some of the tools that I use to make these cups. But I thank you all for watching and I hope you guys took something away from this and learned something new and fun. And if you guys have any questions, just leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you.